Welcome to another episode of By the Numbers. I'm Michelle Fleming. And I'm Renee Smith. Well, today we're going to talk about another developmental skill called subitizing. Uh-oh, she's using her teacher language again. Well, subitizing is actually for teachers kind of a new concept as well. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to go to the back uh, blackboard so we can look at it a little bit more. Okay. The whiteboard, the I white guess. Board? It's black on one side, white why, on the other. Why don't we hear this word very often, Michelle? Well, subitizing is a skill that we had, most people think kids would have by the time they came to school. Okay. And it used to be they had this skill because of the way the dynamics were at home. Okay. But now the dynamics at home have changed. So we're going to talk about what we can do at home okay. to bring back those, that, those dynamics. Okay. Subitizing just basically means that ability to see number without counting. Okay. So, so we've been talking about one-to-one. -one. Right. We've talked about one-to-one -one correspondence, which is where I actually touched okay. the starburst before. Mm -hmm. So okay. this time, I want you to tell me how many there are without counting. Four. Okay. Close your eyes real quick. Okay. How many are there now? Two. Okay. Close your eyes. How many are there now? Three. Close your eyes. How many are there now? One. Close your eyes. How many are there now? Four. I, okay. didn't, I didn't close my eyes. <laughs> You're too fast. <laughs> but it's just the ability. You didn't actually have to count these right. out. They say babies as young as five months have this skill. And that, so do animals. And so do animals. Those, those birds know that there are four eggs in the nest. Yeah, that's why my mom used to always say, don't take a bird's eggs from the nest because he'll abandon the nest, or right. she'll abandon the nest. Right. So it's just an innate ability, and oftentimes we used to do this a lot at home when we played with dice and we played with dominoes, and that was what I grew up playing with uh -huh. as, as my games with my family where right. kids don't see those things as much anymore. Okay. So we can use anything. This little starburst is what I use. I could also say, Renee, close your eyes. Okay. And when you open them, I want you to tell me how many forks you see. Okay. Oh. Don't open yet. Darn. Okay. Okay. How many forks you see? I see three. Close your eyes. How many forks do you see? Two. Okay. Close your eyes. I'm going to try to try trick, to trick you. me. Try to trick you. Okay. Open your eyes. There are five. Okay. So while you're setting the table, you can just quickly do things like that. So you can use any kind of a tool. They say kids can typically see four to six objects. Okay. Now, before they come into kindergarten, usually four. Five is getting kind of hard for, for younger kids. Right. They're just not developmentally ready for it. But four to six objects is where most adults can see. After that, we do this little thing called chunking, which we can talk about later, okay. which actually uses a different part of the brain. Okay. So just any kind of object. So we're going to play a quick game, okay. a game that you can play at home with your kids. Okay. And this is called... Who has more? And I'm just going to put some beans out in the oh middle of the table. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of beans. That's a lot of beans. That's a lot of rounds of playing. We won't play that many rounds. Okay. Okay. I get one dice. And, and I get one, one dice. dice. And you know one thing I've noticed is they're starting to make dies with the numbers on them instead of the dots. Oh. For subitizing, you want the dots. Okay. You want the dots. Okay. All you're going to do is you're going to roll your die. I'm going to roll my die. Okay. Without counting, we're going to say who has more. Okay. And whoever has more gets to take a bean. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Ugh. I have more because I had three, so I get to take a bean. Okay. okay. Oh, it's Up, it's tied. Tie. So nobody gets a bean. Darn it. Who has more? You do. I like this game. I don't like it very okay. much. I have oh, six, six, I, I get have two. Okay, so you just go back and forth. Okay. And with after kids get older, the game changes from who has more to who has more and by how many. Okay. So put your beans back. Okay, so. This time, who has more? You do, okay. by one. I have more by one, so I only get one bean. Okay. okay. Roll again. Who has more? <gasps> you do. By how many? Four. So I get four beans this time. Oh my gosh, I okay. really don't like this game. So I could count up from one, two, three, four, five, or just know that there's four. So okay. depending on the ability of the kids, you just who has more, or who has more and how many more. Okay. And that's how many I beans like they it. take. For that, for that game, you would need more beans. Probably. For that game, you would probably need more beans. That's right. Okay. And you don't have to use beans. Again, it could be Anything. Starburst, M&M's, whatever pennies. you have at home. Most pennies. people collect those pennies yep. up. So or buttons or anything just as a fun game you can play. So that will also work on just the ability to see number without counting. Cool. I like so, it. So thank you for joining us in another episode of By the Numbers. Join us at My Kids Turn to find out more about all of the shows that we offer.